Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since I've provided an update on the equipment that I'm using for the 187 gallon tank. I've made some changes over the last few years so I thought it would be a good opportunity to kind of go over everything and uh, show you what makes this tank tick. Alright so this is a custom tank that was built by Coast to Coast Custom Aquariums in New Jersey. Got Euro bracing on the top here and what um, I'm going to show you behind the tank here is an external overflow box with a lid two one and one half inch drains and two one inch returns I'm using gray PVC piping and everything in terms of the equipment is in the room next door there is nothing below the stand in terms of equipment the only thing I've got behind the tank are the ballasts for the lights and I'm running Giesman 400 watt and I've got um, 20k 400 watt radiant bulbs in those fixtures plus some T5s and I've also got the uh, Ecotech controllers underneath here. So in terms of plumbing the tank through the wall and into the sump room it was it was a complicated plumbing job I'll, uh, I'll admit that it took me a long while probably a week to plumb the tank to the sump through the wall here but I'll, uh, I'll show you the other side. I drilled holes in the drywall and then I put some bracing inside of that drywall and it worked out pretty well so I'm going to show you that right now. Between the display tank and the sump room is a staircase so I had to go underneath this staircase right here. There's a closet pretty much with uh, all the equipment that I have for this uh, system and as you can see the um, all the, the two drains and the return lines are braced in right in there so there's one brace up against the wall and then there's another brace right here where the unions are it's all really in there very solid and this is the Royal Exclusive Dream Box custom made sump in Germany that is uh, feeding the tank as well as um, these two frag tanks, the 75 gallon frag tank and the 50 gallon frag tank. So the two drains from the display are right here going into the dream box and then I also have two drains from the frag tank that are going into the dream box and this fifth drain is for water changes so I've got 50 gallon drum RODI water right here and what I do is um, I have a pump in here and so when I need to make some salt water I pump it into this 50 gallon drum mix up the salt let it sit for a while and then I've got another pump in here and I've got some valves and I will uh, when I need to put water into the dream box I will turn those valves turn the pumps on and it goes right underneath this bench right into the dream box. So just a real quick overview in terms of the um, the rest of the plumbing on this dream box. I've got two 100 watt wall exclusive uh, pumps you know pumping out through these two one inch return lines so right here this return line is going to the 50 gallon frag tank I've got a valve turned to divert some of that water to the frag tank and this valve is open and it goes to the 187 gallon display and then on this return right here I've got a couple of things going on here I've got this valve again it's turned slightly to divert some of the water all the way up around the ceiling right here right down into the 75 gallon frag tank then what I also do, uh, what I have here is another valve and when I shut everything down for a water change I will turn this valve, shut that off, right, leave this valve open, come all the way back here 
and we'll turn these two valves this way and that way open it up and I've got a drain right here open that valve up final tubing goes into the slop sink empties the water out so I'm just essentially turning on one of the return pumps and pumping water out and then to put the water back in like I mentioned before I'm turning the pump on on that 50 gallon drum right there and pumping it into the dream box so it looks complicated in terms of the plumbing and it like I mentioned it, it wasn't uh, an easy plumbing job but it um, it's great it's really makes maintenance a lot easier now the reason why I wanted to go through the plumbing again is because I did make a change I believe since the last time I did this video I think I only had the one frag tank so I had to splice into the line right here to put the plumbing in for the 50 gallon frag tank all right so what's going on so this dream box is I believe 74 gallons I did have a um, bubble king double cone I think it was 250 skimmer on this dream box it proved to be too big of a skimmer for the system I was getting a lot of inconsistent skimming it was just not um, functioning the way it should I got a Deltec I'm not I'm not bashing Deltec it's been it's been a great skimmer I'm really happy with it but uh, I do eventually want to replace it with another uh, Royal exclusive uh, bubble cam what else is going on here I've got a uh, meaty reactor so that's got activated carbon in there the uh, the skimmer by the way is not uh, running right now because I just dosed bacteria so I'm got the skimmer off for four hours as well as this uh, UV sterilizer which is relatively new and you know I'm a fan now of running UV sterilizers 24 7 because on this tank right here the peninsula tank when I had that dinos outbreak I added dinos outbreak I added a UV sterilizer and it wiped out the uh, the dinos within a matter of days and I also really like the water clarity with the UV so I just feel like it's um, it's a good preventative thing to have on this system to to prevent a potential dinos outbreak uh, you know it could potentially help with uh, certain fish diseases and uh, water clarity so I'm, I'm running UV on both systems right now now the uh, the other thing I wanted to, uh, to point out I'm using a um, Reef Octopus I believe that's a 9 inch calcium reactor in this system I was running two part so that's different versus the last time I provided this update this thing is uh, is awesome it um, really provides you know rock steady alkalinity for me the um, the effluent for this uh, calcium reactor is dripping into the skimmer pump and I'm doing that to to help elevate the pH because the skimmer pump there's a lot of aeration going on at the skimmer pump and so that could help degas the carbon dioxide the other thing that I'm doing is I am dosing caulkwasser and I have this 30 gallon drum of caulkwasser it is being uh, the caulkwasser is being pulled from this uh, GHL uh, two GHL um, dosing heads from this pump the uh, you know it's I'm dosing a lot per day and so I have to keep up the maintenance on the uh, the pump heads because if I don't then it's going to wear them out it's not ideal situation in terms of utilizing the um, the GHL doser 2.1 to dose caulkwasser but this 30 gallon drum has been great because not only am I dosing the caulkwasser onto the 187 gallon system into this dream box but I'm also doing it it's I got lines that run um, along this wall up over the door and it's um, being fed, dripped into the uh, dream box that I have for my 225 gallon peninsula tank. So I'm dripping caulkwasser. I am not stirring this. I don't have anything in here to stir it. It's um, basically lasts about a couple of weeks. And then what I'll do is I'll put a couple more cups of caulkwasser in there. Every couple of months, I'll remove the, uh, the caulkwasser, the sediment. In there I'll take a shot back and I'll just suck it all out I'm just not sure if there's gonna be any impurities in there if it uh, stays in that drum any longer so I just want to be sure about that and, and suck it out every couple of months and just start over and I start over with four cups of cockwasser 
and it seems to be doing the trick. My pH has been pretty much spot on, 8.1 to 8.4. Sometimes it goes up to 8.5. The other thing uh, you can see, I've got this um, THL Proflux 4 controller over here. I've got my KH director. I've got that set to run two times, once uh, overnight and once in the middle of the afternoon. The other thing I'll point out here is in terms of what I'm dosing, I'm actually dosing phosphate on this system as well as nitrate. And some of you will notice I don't have the bucket refugium anymore. I don't have the, the algae reactor anymore. I've been dosing bacteria, the microbacter clean since July and then the past, I don't know, month or so I've been dosing the Brightwell's MB7 as well. And, you know, my nitrates are 2.5. I'm dosing, I think, about 6 mLs per day of, of nitrates. And my phosphates are essentially zero. All right. So at this point, you know, I have decommissioned the Cato. And I, but I am still dosing the Brightwell's Cato grill. And I think that's been beneficial for the corals in terms of the iron and the manganese for the, uh, for the coral. So I've been still dosing that. And that is pretty much it in terms of what I'm doing dosing-wise. Not a lot. But, yeah, other than that, what else can I tell you? You know, in terms of the frag tanks, I just added a couple of new industrial fans. And these really uh, work very well in terms of keeping the, uh, you know, I've got them set, I think, to turn on at 79 degrees. And, you know, this time of the year, they really don't turn on too often. But these, both of these tanks are lit by metal halides, so that does tend to warm them up a bit. What else can I tell you? I've got this uh, Spectra Pure Ultra Precise uh, Auto Top Off that I use for the top off. And again, that's pulling from the 50 gallon drum over there with RODI water. What I do have on my list is to clean up this mess in terms of all the power cords. I'm, I think I wanna, what I want to do is create a, a cover just to really make it uh, more bulletproof. Um, it makes me nervous that you know it's next to the frag tank. But other than that, I'm pretty happy in terms of the way things are going. Well, that will do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I also want to remind you about my premium SPS frag store on reefbum.com. I will leave a link in the video description below. I will also leave links from my equipment store. I do sell GHL, Royal Exclusive, Pax Mellum, and Reef Bright equipment, plus ice cap and max spec gyros, as well as Reef Octopus calcium and caulk reactors. Many of these products I do use personally on my tanks. Until next time, be safe and be well. Later.